Hi everyone, welcome to a triple Dark Ascension draft here. Let's play with those new cards. Alright, so what have we got here? Zombie Apocalypse, huh? Okay. What else? <coughs> we have a Death's Caress here. I've been impressed with this guy. Forge Devil is actually kinda cool. Uh, Scorn Villager. Yeah, well, like, I think the only cards that we can uh, consider here are Fires of Undeath, <coughs> Death Scores, and Zombie Apocalypse. I've played with both these cards, but not with Zombie Apocalypse, and, well, I like Death Scores better than I, I like Fires of Undeath, so I think Fires are out. Uh, the question here is Death Scores against Zombie Apocalypse. <coughs> Well, to be perfectly honest, is not uh, there isn't a uh, there are many times where this guy can be relied upon as a removal spell. So I think I'm just going to take a death caress. In this way, I'm not uh, forced into building a zombie deck if I don't need to. All right, we get a tragic slip for pick two here. What else do we have here of note? There's a Dawn Trader Elk, there's a Loyal Cathar, there's a Nibblers of the Mist, a Warden of the Wall, I've been impressed with this guy too, and a Relentless Scrubs, which are fine too. But well, since my first pick was a Black Removal spell, no reason to uh, not keep that trend, right? Let's take a tragic slip here. <coughs> And what do we get for our third pick here? <coughs> I really like uh, playing triple small set drafts because, you know, it's usually lots of fun. <coughs> okay. So, there's a wreck with madness, but I must be honest and say that I'm not uh, very impressed by this card. It's kind of clunky, it's a sorcery, it costs 4 mana, and there are a lot of times where it uh, just cannot kill the the creature it, it means to kill. <coughs> we got some good green cards here, including a green backwoods. A grave tiller worm seems pretty insane if we, we manage to, uh, to get morbid going. And there's a young wolf, doesn't seem so hot. I think here I'm gonna take a look at our and try and go white black. Maybe I'll get those uh lingering souls, right? <coughs> Not sure if this is the right pick, but I'd rather have a look at our here than a uh than a bad red removal spell. And now we get a faith shield which is pretty good, but yeah yeah, this guy's is kinda insane. I really like it. 3-2 flyer that com comes back as a 4-3 flyer. It's kinda expensive, but oh well. Uh, there's a Break of Day 2, there's a Reap the Sea Graph, which is good. Saving Grasp could be good too. And yeah, Faith Shield is pretty good. So is Evolving White, but no need to take that here. Let's take the big flyer here while we can. <coughs> this guy is almost a dragon, right? Because like it's a Three two, all right. It will trade with something and then come back as a as a four three. It's actually pretty good if you manage to <coughs> to get there to get to six mana. All right. Uh, another loyal Cathar. I think that's what I'm gonna take. <coughs> There's a burning oil which is pretty good. We could like splash. Uh, red for that. <coughs> Although I think I'm gonna take the, the Cathar. It seems pretty good too. I've been beaten down to death by a horde of loyal Cathar, so <laughs> that's why I, I like them so much. Cassie Reclus is <coughs> is fine too. Divination, skillful lunge. Scott could be playable, I guess. But I think I'm gonna take a loyal Cathar. <coughs> I think Burning Oil is a better card than the Cathar, but since I'm already in, in black, I don't really want to, to go into red if I need to. <coughs> All 
All right, there's a Grave Purge, which could be useful. Another red removal spell. <coughs> Although I'm really not a fan of this guy here. Uh, Rear of Revelation, Altar of the Lost, Everything Scholar. Yeah, it seems, it seems fine, I mean, with my humans, right? But I think here I'm going to take a Grave Purge. Grave Purge uh, is actually a pretty good late game card and can cycle in the early game if I really need to do that. So yeah, let's take the, the Grave Purge here. <coughs> Uh, Everything Scholar, Undying Evil, and Forge Devil, and Griptide. We have some good options here, even Hollowhenge Beast, but I think I want to take a card in my color here, which leaves us with Undying Evil versus Everything Scholar, and I think there's a better chance that I play uh, Undying Evil. So let's take it. <coughs> Mm, skillful Lunge is fine, but I think I like the Gavin the Iron Right better. Can be a Crusade, a pretty good Crusade at that. Plus one, plus four to everyone. Alright, let's take it. It's also inexpensive, it's three mana and it's human. <coughs> Alright, there's a Threban Heretic. Which is good, I guess, but is it better than a Warden of the Wall? I do not think it is. I ha I have two uh, very good two mana cost humans here, so I think I can safely take the the warden here. <coughs> All right, Lawyer Cathar number three, <laughs> get in there, I guess. I like it better than any of those other options there. But the though is pretty bad. Well, I, I don't know. I don't like this card, but it shouldn't go this late, so I think I'm just gonna hate draft it. Alright, break of day is is fine for what we are trying to do here. Fling, blah blah blah. This guy, nah. I think I'm gonna take a fling. I don't really like the fling rifle. Well, here I'm gonna take it. <coughs> Alright, it was a reasonable first pack. We have some good beat down options here. We have some removal spells and a big flyer to finish things off. Alright, let's go into pack 2 here, ooh, this is nice, increasing devotion is exactly what I'm looking for here since, you know, I do have a way to pump my team and putting 5 tokens, even if, I, if we never flash this back, it's still pretty good, and the good news is, there's a, a good chance we get something back here. <coughs> Maybe a uh, an Inquisitor, Elgold Inquisitor, maybe a uh, Nibblers of the Mist, although I doubt it. Uh but but yeah, like this is a good pack. Still I think the increasing devotion is the better card here. Ooh, look at that. Flare of the Hatebound. <coughs> it's a good one, but I'm not taking it here. We could take a Hollow Hand Spirit, we could take a Wake Dancer. Uh let's sort by cost. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a Hollow Hand Spirit. There's a Midnight Guard too. <coughs> Highborn Goal. I'm not exactly looking to, to pick Highborn Goals here, especially with these uh, heavy white cards here in our deck already. In our two mana slots. So let's just take the Hollow Hand guy. Wake Dancer is good and all, but I think the Hollow Hand guy is, is a bit better. It's a Spirit. It's, it's a Flyer. <coughs> Alright. Silver Claw Griffin. I kind of like the Wolf Hunter's Quiver too, but I think the 3 2 First Striker in the air is a better option. <coughs> Wolf Mod is good too, but. Ooh, Gareth's Messenger. <laughs> Very sadly, it doesn't fit at all in my deck since, you know, <laughs> double white, triple black. Not exactly the deck that I'm looking to. to to build here, but luckily for us, we do have a tragic slip. I mean, this, this card is very good, but here, sadly, I cannot take it. <coughs> the finger F and nothing else. This this card is is good too. This is one of the reasons that I do not like the Rakith Madness because it doesn't kill this Nefalia Sea Kite. All right, let's take the tragic slip then. <coughs> and all right, here we get 
an even better removal spell, Firebond Moonfinger. I think it's better than Tragic Slip. And I think it's better than both Elgod, Inquisitor, Threban Thre Heretic, and Herring Journey. This, I don't think it's really a card though. It seems so bad. But yes, let's take the Bonflinger. Increase in ambition. <coughs> Alright, I could take a Silver Claw Griffin, but I think I'm gonna take a Nibbles of the Mist. I think uh, at this point I have a lot of things that I want to play on my 5 mana slot. I don't need any more. So it's down to like. Elgod Inquisitor versus Nibbles, and I think the Nibbles is actually better. It's cheaper. <coughs> Alright, maybe Wolf Hunter Squiver. I mean, it's at least a very good sideboard card against some decks, against Werewolf decks. <coughs> Alright, let's take it. At this point, I don't think I'm playing this wreck with Madness. Let's just hide it then. Alright, I. I'm liking the direction my deck is going at this point since we do have some good creatures here to, to be down with. I have a good white winner deck in the brewing here. And we do have a Skier deck, deck Flare. What is this card doing here at this point? And well, <laughs> let's just say that we have some humans, right? <laughs> yes, I am taking this. This card is really good. <coughs> Especially in a deck like ours. I can even use it to like uh, sack one of my loyal Cathars or a, uh, a human token to kill a creature and then uh, play Tragic Sleep, giving minus 13, minus 13 to another creature. Seems fine. Okay, our options here are Loyal Cathar number 4 and Nibbles of the Mist number 2. I think I'm gonna go with the Nibbles. I mean, being a 2 1, it's very fragile, but it's a flyer, right? And can tap stuff, yeah. Sign me up. Mm, this is actually a good removal spell, and I don't think I'm playing the second break of day. I'm not even sure if I'm playing the first, so let's just hate draft this chant of the Skiff Sang here. Another wolf hunter's quiver, huh? And nothing else. So we uh, we might as well take the second one. Could take a rear for revelation to fight the mind control guy, the one th one three blue guy that turns into an aura, or we could take a heavy mattock. Yeah, in fact, I think I'm actually taking the mattock here. All right. Well, this card's so bad. I'm just gonna take the faithless looting. This card seems bad, and it is, <laughs> like kinda, but like it's good in a Sewer Claw Griffin, I would, I would say, and it's good in our Loyal Cathars, obviously, it's also good in the tokens from our increasing devotion. Oh really? Alright. Well, this card isn't really anything to write home about, but who knows, could be playable. I mean, probably not, since we do have already 23 playables, in, uh, 22 playables other than the increase in ambition, so... Predator use, ooh, look at that, it's the Soul Caesar that I was talking about earlier. <coughs> and apparently there's nothing for us. There's a Midnight Guard that I do not really want to first pick here. I think my best option here is to just take the Soul Caesar. I'm not going to play it, but, well, I certainly do not want to play against it. There's a Predator, Predator e Predator Ooze. <laughs> there we go. Two. In, in this pack. But I think I, I am more afraid of the Soul Caesar. Ooh, look at that. Zombie Apocalypse number two. <coughs> could take another Vampire. I think I'm doing that. Maybe I could take a Loyal Cathar here too. There's a Black Cat. We could take an Evolving Wilds too. <coughs> to fix our mana. We do have a lot of high-end stuff here, so I don't think we really need the, the Vampire. I think I'd rather have another Cathar. Another loyal Cathar. <coughs> that could be wrong, but, well, I guess we will see. This guy seems so good. <laughs> it's like a double Vampire, uh, a crossword Vampire. It even has haste. But I think here I'm taking another Spirit, another f uh, 
flash guy can ambush other guys yeah do not need a, another five mana card so I'm not taking the griffin <clears throat> burden of guilt yeah that's actually pretty nice like I really don't want to have uh, this guy here in, in multiples since you know it really ties up your mana <clears throat> But one of them is acceptable. Alright, another Nibbles. Skillful Lunge. I, I actually kind of want a Skillful Lunge. There's a Blood Feud too here. Discard this. It's pretty good. Let's take a Nibbles. <coughs> Three Nibbles. Nibbleses of the Mist. Should be good, right? With our uh, aggressive deck here. Like a turn 2 Loyal Cathar. Then we can. Uh, tap something with the nibbles of the mist to make our guys uh, get in there don't think I'm playing the wolf hunter's quiver though so let's just hide it probably not playing the undying evil either but I guess we will see <coughs> another burden of guild that I don't want uh, so I guess I'll just take these nibbles here and discard this so annoying there's some good ones here. The near near hearth, near hearth stalker seems nice. The chant is nice. Rear revelation. Don't read the arc. But yes, let's take the nibbles. I think. <coughs> All right. So the packs have kind of dried up for us. So we are gonna keep on hating. <laughs> the file sea kite is pretty good against my deck since you know I have a lot of flyers that get eaten by this guy. So let's just hate it here. <coughs> Everything's color, divination, heavy matok, ray of revelation. Can't remember if I already have a ray of revelation hidden in there somewhere. <coughs> uh, but I think I'm gonna take a divination. Man, I, I like almost have a blue deck here too, right? With the divination and the phallic guide and the uh, mind control guy. But yeah, well, could take an Abbasin Scholar too, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's take the Divination here. <coughs> Alright, this guy came back, and it's acceptable. Alright, the Vengeful Vampire came back. So let's take it. We may even play it. <coughs> yeah, I don't like seeing this guy. This guy is kind of annoying. I'm sad here that, that we didn't get uh, any Gather the Townsfolks here. I think those would be pretty good in my deck. But oh well. Can have it all. I still think we have a decent deck here. Like getting the area of Revelation. Let's see how he, how he shapes up. Alright, so these are the cards that I want in my main deck here. We have 24 of those, so... <coughs> that probably means that we have to take one of these out. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the Undying Evil out. Because, you know, a lot of my cards like the Loyal Cathar and the Vengeful Vampires already have some sort of Undying-like ability, at least, in the case of the Cathar. <coughs> I really like this gear deck. Skills deck flare in this deck. We have a, a couple, uh, some nibbles, uh, grave purge. Seems to be pretty good in, in a deck like this for the late game to ensure that we do not draw lands, draw only action. <coughs> and we have some re some good removal spells here too. All right, so I think this is the, the deck that I want to play. <coughs> Let's see by color. We have to have a lot of planes, but. Yeah, ten seven actually seems perfect, since the uh, double re uh, black cards that we have are meant for the late game. I think I'm gonna leave the Wolf Hunter Squiver in the sideboard here, since you know they they can uh, come in against werewolves, and I don't think I really need those to win. I do have uh, some good removal spells here too to work with. It's all right. I like this, let's see if I do well. <coughs> 